Okay, shall we just get straight into it? I don't want to completely open the blinds because I feel like I'm always looking up at like the other flat and there's people watching me. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So I haven't prepared the best. Um, everything's a mess basically. So my lips are really dry. I've done my skincare, everything just like a while ago I've been out. So we're going to start off with like a lip product um, that I think is worth it. If you're into your lip plumpers, the Too Faced lip injections, this is the extreme one and this is the bubblegum scent, flavour, whatever. I really like the Too Faced ones, they do genuinely sting. I'm someone that enjoys the pain of them and I feel like they do work temporarily. I think you kind of get the same thing with most like actual like lip plumpers that actually work. They just make your lips look red and then I feel like they look a bit fuller because they're irritated. Because it's like they're just swollen basically. So I feel like that's the, really that's the gimmick with them. But I enjoy it. I think this is my second one. I have like my lip balm kind of on from before. I don't know if it's going to block it because I can't feel any tingle yet. While well, that's on, and I find them quite hydrating these as well. So we're gonna start off with the face, I think. So a face primer that I think is definitely worth the money. I've talked about this so much on my channel. You, if you watch my channel regularly, you'll be like, please shut up. But this is my favorite primer ever. This is the Smashbox Primerizer. Um, I don't know if they still have it on, but they did have like a, I think it was like a 50% off sale or something ridiculous like that because they actually, they're moving all Smashbox just strictly to the US, I believe, which has upset my soul so much. They have changed the packaging on the primerizer. This is a backup that I had before they actually changed it, but they're kind of in like a squeezy tube now. Thank you. No construction while I film. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the squeezy tube. I mean, I feel like it's good. Bitch. Really? I'm sorry if you can hear the construction in the back. I, the windows close, I don't know what else I can do. Um, I feel like the squeezy tube is, is beneficial. It's good if you're someone that travels. I do like the the feel of this, but then again, I wouldn't actually travel with this. So yeah, okay, maybe the squeezy tube is better. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't know if they're still gonna be sold in the UK Smashbox. So if, you, if they still have a sale on the website and this is something you, that you wanna try, Go for it, because it's cheaper. Okay, we're gonna go into foundation next. So this is a newer product that I've tried, but I fell in love with it after the, I'd say the second time that I used it. I didn't pay much attention the first day that I used it, but this is the Danessa Myrick's um, Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. It's called a blurring balm powder. I don't know why. It's a cream product. I don't really, I don't know. I don't know why it's called that. It has a little spatula on the front. I did get mine from Beauty Bay. They, that's why they sell Vanessa Myricks in the UK. And Sephora actually has it. I can now say Sephora because we have the UK website, even though, oh wait, did they? I think they had Vanessa Myricks on there. I could be wrong, actually. If you watch one of my last videos, you'll know I'm not overly obsessed with the UK Sephora. So you can watch that video if you want to. <laughs> If you want to see me be angry and upset and disappointed, this is a very strange consistency. It's definitely, I understand why, I don't know why I just did that. I understand why they called it a balm. It definitely is. It's got like, it's not, it's not a product that they literally just called a balm just because it's in this. It genuinely is like the actual consistency and you can tell the formula itself is actually a balm. I really like it. I feel like it does blur the skin. Uh, I feel like if you have larger pores, this might be something that will appeal to you as well. Um, and I love it. I have been obsessed with it. I've been using it um, quite a few weeks now. I don't know how many weeks, maybe like three weeks, I want to say. Definitely, I've tried like a few couple new foundations. That made no sense. A few couple foundation as well. English is doing great today. I just put too much on. I always put too little or too much on. There's never any in between. I've tried like a few different new foundations at the moment. This has been my favorite one by favorite one by far. For me, it's just been like a different product as well. Just something interesting and new to try than like a normal liquid foundation. Um, I did mention this, I think in a previous video when I've like used this on camera. I hate the smell. It literally, it is quite overpowering and quite overwhelming when you're applying it. Like I put more than I should have on today, 
but like this I can smell it and it's it's like an intoxicating smell I really don't like it but it doesn't linger and it doesn't stay you can't smell this like it will go once I've stopped bonding it out like it's it will go but oh my god it's such a strong like chemically scent like chemically chemically like scent I think I described it in one of my other videos as being like cement like it smells like building materials like construction shit look at that can you see especially i find like here this is where like my cheeks is usually where i have texture can you see how flawless that looks i am amazed so these are all just products that i personally think are worth the money and i definitely do recommend obviously if you have maybe like the same skin type as me then obviously just think about it because they're very good stuff to use but obviously you don't have to okay moving on to concealer for me the concealer that has just always been one of my favorites i don't think i've ever not had this in my collection or if i did it wasn't for long because i always needed to buy one this is the tarte shape tape concealer i use the shade 35 neutral and in the donessa myrick sorry i used the shade four it looks deeper in the pan like it looks way deeper you can see like this is like a perfect match for me but like in this see what i mean like you look at that and you look at my skin tone and you're like bitch that's too dark it's actually not i know a lot of people preferred the i can't remember what it was called but it was like the hydrating version you'd think i would like that with my dry skin but for me that just didn't give me enough coverage and i was actually very disappointed with that yeah no did not like that at all I'm honestly so sorry. I feel like you can definitely hear like the construction out there. I don't know where it is. I can't see it, but definitely hear it. It sounds like it's getting closer. I feel like after I've done my concealer, I think I'm going to have to move on to eyeshadow because this is too much noise because we're going to have to be, we might have to voice over it or something. So yeah, love the shape tape. It is the most full coverage concealer, probably up there with the KVD vegan be i don't know what the brand's called kvd beauty kvd vegan beauty i don't know the name but i feel like it's definitely up there with that concealer they're both so full coverage the tart one i'd say is more liquidy but they both just blend out really nicely that is definitely up there as well that's definitely worth it in my opinion the kvd one jouet is always a favorite of mine as well but yeah perfect for my dark dark under eyes i think we will actually move on to the eyes but i will Let's do eye primer together first. I feel like you already know. If you watch me regularly, you'll know what my favorite eye primer is. It's the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer. For I right, here's the thing with Rare Beauty. I feel like they're like affordable high end, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of like up there with like Pixie, I'd say. Like similar, because like Pixie is sold at a drugstore, but it's kind of pricey to call drugstore. It's affordable. It's like Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, they're not... Rare Beauty, I think, is affordable. Well, actually, I don't know. It might not be for some people. I'd still class it as a high-end brand, actually. I, I think if we're going black or white, like, it's going to be high-end. But I feel like a lot of the products are affordable, like, for what they are, and the quality, mainly. Like, you can't go wrong. But you can get like affordable eye primers. I really like the e.l.f. do one, the shadow lock primer that's like three pound. Um, what else? Beauty Bay do one eye base. It's similar to this actually. They have different, they have different shades in that as well. With the rare beauty one, just keep in mind they do only have this one like shade. I don't know if it's supposed to be universal. I'd imagine so. They're a very thoughtful brand. I would imagine they obviously thought about other skin tones. But Beauty Bay do have like a range of different tones. All right, I'm gonna throw this out after this, not throw it out, but put it in my empties. Cause I mean, we're almost done, but I feel like this is like, it's called 12 month shelf life of it. I think I've had this over 12 months. This is the Patrick Ta brow bar thing. I don't know what you call it. This is the tinted one. Um, I did think this was worth it. I did really enjoy it, as you can see. However, Makeup Revolutions is actually better and it's more affordable. Obviously, like I said in one of my recent videos, 
were they trying to copy something over here? This one I'm not mad about. I am slightly because they have fully tried to copy it. But the formula is actually better on the Revolution one, in my opinion. I find that it just, it lasts longer than the Patrick Ta one. But I don't have another brow product to use. I am just so lazy. But then again, I mean, if I don't have to do them, why would I? I'm classing that as an empty. She's done. Okay, let's move on to eyeshadow next. Because... <laughs> I mean, I used this palette, one of these palettes anyway, in one of my last videos. <sighs> Artist Couture. These are not available on a UK website. They are only sold on Artist Couture's website. However, I've purchased from their website twice or maybe three times max. Every time, the shipping for the UK isn't that pricey, I don't think, compared to, I mean, I've gone back like three times at least compared to, I feel like they're even cheaper than Colourpop and there's no extra customs fee, I didn't have to pay anything extra. I feel like it might have just been like a fair, maybe like £10 or something. Like it wasn't that bad for the shipping and everything, nothing has ever arrived broken, damaged and the customer service is really good. Um, I think I had to check, I think there was a problem like with my tracking or something at one point and I just had to contact them, they're great. And also, I just find them worth it. Like I, they're definitely one of my favorite brands. I'd say I've tried a variation of different products from the brand. Um, I'd say the least favorite thing that I tried is probably the face primer. I like it, but it's not my favorite to be honest. But the eyeshadow palettes, they are just something else. I'd say they're one of my favorite formulas ever. So I have two of them. I have the Supreme Nudes, which I think this is my favorite palette of all time dare I say it but I always go back to this if I'm going out I'm like oh I just need a trusty palette I go to this like this is just th this is it for me I think I could easily just if I was only to use one palette for the rest of my life I'd go with this one and the palette I used in one of my recent videos the one where we were talking shit about companies <laughs> use the supreme bronze which is this one so you can see them both side by side like and I think they're about $40 if I believe. I don't think that's too pricey to be honest. On the quality, you cannot beat this quality in my opinion. I literally am obsessed. Um, so seeing as I used this one last time, I think I'll use the Supreme Nudes today. I just, I do wish that instead of this dark brown, it was a black, because I just always need a black in a palette for me. So I'm gonna maybe use the black from the other palette. 50 out of 10 amazing i love this brand so so much honestly um and i'm a big fan of angel the owner of the company as well they have really good lip oils oh my god the lip oils the lipsticks just they they kill it so i'm just gonna shut up and just show you what i'm using smoky i might just lighten it up a little bit actually eyeline real quick i'm just i'm not using a high-end um eyeliner i literally do not own a high-end like pencil eyeliner i won't splurge on these like no way this is the ellie girl glide on liner these are so affordable and they are my favorite pencil liners ever they're so creamy then for eyeliner, like liquid line, it's kind of the same. Like I don't splurge. I just have this from a set. Um, but this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. 
Um, I don't think it's worth the money. I'm not sure how much it is. Like I said, I got it in a set, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, eyeliner is just, like I said, it's not something I splurge on. So the NYX Epic Ink, just go with them. They are so good if you want a good liquid liner. Um, the Rare Beauty eyeliner is very good as well. However, for me, I just find that it doesn't work on like glitter or like glittery eyeshadows. Like if you're going over it, it stops working. If you're not someone that wears eyeshadow, then you don't have to worry about that. So then it can work for you. But personally, that's just what I've found. And I've done a halo eye with winged eyeliner. Don't really know what we were thinking there. I might try and unmake make it not a halo eye anymore. Unmake make it not a halo eye anymore. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Favorite Amazon brush. I might wet it actually. We've um, <laughs> unhaloed that. Okay, for mascara, we are going back to Too Faced. But again, if you've watched me for a while, actually, you'll know what my favorite mascara is. This is whether it's high end or affordable. The Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is the one for me. I know a lot of people actually don't like it. They find it clumpy. I don't understand that. I have never understood that because I have. This is like one of the few mascaras that. I've tried that never ever clumps up for me like this is I'm almost out of this actually um but I have a backup I always have a backup of this I'll always have one of these in my collection I genuinely genuinely like this is the one product I think out of everything out of any makeup category this is the one product that I'll just always have in my collection like for me I've just never found a mascara that's better than this it is my favourite and my battery on my camera is dying, of course, so let me change that over and I'll finish my mascara as well, but this is with like two strokes. Alright, alright, moving on to bronzer, I guess. I'm gonna do cream and powders in both like categories. So for cream bronzer, one that I definitely think is worth the money. Again, I don't look at it being too pricey compared to some of the high-end brands. But the, oh my god, mine is so dirty, it's got like bronze all over it. But the Rare Beauty Happy Soul, no wait, that's the shade. The bronzer stick. Why was that so difficult? And this is in the shade Happy Soul. Yeah, I love these. These are definitely one of my favourite products from Rare. I'd say these and the liquid blushes, even and the cream. Like the cream blushes that are like in the little compact, they're even so good as well. Um, but yeah, I'd, the bronzers, ugh, I love this. This is like the perfect shade for me as well. I believe it's one of the lightest shades. So creamy, I feel like this is a perfect cream bronzer if you're a beginner or just for anyone really. But if you are like new to makeup, this is definitely something that you're not gonna have to worry about blending in either. It'll blend out so easily. And I'm gonna blend it out with my Brushworks brush. It doesn't have a name, but it's this one anyway. It's kind of like my Real Techniques one, which is my favourite one, and I always get questions about that one. So, this is my alternative, because you can't get that other one anymore. You can literally see, like, this, there's no speeding up of anything, no cutting out. Like, you can just see, like, how easy this is just blending into the skin. So nice, and they have a great shade range as they do with like all the products. Honestly, Rare Beauty coming to the UK was like, that was the most excitement I've had in a while. I think with a makeup, with a makeup brand or just any like beauty release, I think in such a long time, like the excitement I had for that, it was a happy time. Cream blush or like liquid blush. I really think this is worth the splurge. I haven't seen anything that is, too similar i know i've got like an elf product that it's a blush stick um i'll add a picture of it on the screen so you can see which one i mean i might have mentioned it before but there's a specific shade that it ends up looking like it but i feel like formula wise this is just this is just beyond this is the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand and this one is peach gasm i know the viral one was pink gasm i believe 
that was just it was just forever out of stock and i just wanted to see what the hype was with these and i see it i'm not gonna lie i do i see the hype this is a unique formula i will give them that all right i'm just gonna use my fenty brush to blend that in also this is what i love like the it blends in two seconds it's gone Okay, moving on to powders. I need to set my under eyes because we're gonna crease. One of my holy grail powders ever, the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. She's nearly finished, she's nearly finished. This has been my favorite powder or one of my favorite powders for years. I've loved this for a while. This is just, it looks so good if you're taking um, like flash photos. You get no white cast and this also if you have oily skin specific i love this when i was really oily this will mat you up like you i don't think you'd need to touch up unless you're extremely 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 oily because you can feel this like now i can feel it kind of setting into my skin and not i don't mean drying in like a negative way but i can feel it like just doing its job i can feel it setting the makeup it's similar to the fenty um loose powder that one is so good as well but this one i just feel it just looks smoother i think i mean actually it's very similar to the fenty one i have that as well and i do love that there's just something about this one i think it's just because i've loved this one longer um i did used to bake with this but <laughs> my skin don't need no baking anymore but look at look at that you can really see it when i do that Flawless skin, flawless skin. I mean, all skin is flawless anyway, but you know what I mean. All right, I'm just gonna start getting this lip treatment off. Um, powdered products. This, I just wanted to use this, to be honest. I'm not gonna say that this is the best thing in the entire world. I'm not like, oh my God, everybody needs this. I would say, if you wanted to just treat yourself, I'd say this is a very good product. I'm not like screaming at everyone to go get this. It's just like a medium product for me. It's just, I don't have that many super high end powdered bronzers. Fenty, why didn't I use that? Oh my God, forget everything I've just said about this. The Fenty powdered bronzer, they are definitely worth the money. But I wanted to use this one. It's a high end one. It's just got a glow to it that I just really, really love. It has a very good formula. I haven't even told you what it is. It's the Kosas um, powdered bronzer. This one is in the shade medium. It's just like a baked bronzer. It's basically like the Milani ones, but this one is just smoother than the Milani ones. I don't know what it is. And it just, I don't know. Something just gets me every time I use it. I see it, I don't use it that often. I just leave it in my drawer and I'm like, mm, baked bronzer, whatever. But then when I use it, I don't know what. <laughs> You won't be able to see it as much now just because oh my god i have foundation in my hair um because obviously i've got the cream products on but this just gives the most natural glow ever and it just warms the skin up so nicely you can see it warming my cheekbones up here but uh, there's something special about this i think it's just the smoothness of it it's a really nice formula but yeah like i said this is just a nice product to have i'm not like screaming from the rooftops for you all to go try this but the fenty ones i'll scream from the rooftops for the fenty ones definitely like look at my forehead now just look at the glow okay then for powdered blush this is so expensive but it's a palette so if you're going to use everything it's definitely worth it for me it is and this is the hourglass ambient lighting this is the unlocked palette i don't understand hourglass and how they release their palettes i feel like they're all like they all have the same name right but i don't know it's the one that's got the bunny in the h i don't know if they all do that or not i don't know but it's this one this is the one i feel like they have a million different like palettes that are all kind of similar this is my favorite shade i also love the bronzer i love this shade as well and also these two i love mixing in and just putting like you know what let's just use it let's, let's let me just get a different brush actually let me just use it seeing them raving about them so much it's just like the normal formula that we love of the 
but this is a great product to use literally over the beauty bakery one because that is very matte so if you want a glow if you want a glowy under eye or just an extra glow and this has brightened it can you see the difference this is brightened and you can see the glow there here and that's just matte it's so nice and i'm mixing those two mainly the lighter one but both of those there it's so smooth as well like this can never look powdery or cakey you can literally i swear if you use this whole pan on your face i don't think you'd i still don't think you'd get cakey it's a very unique formula hourglass are so expensive they're a luxury brand they're not even high end i class them class them as luxury but Shit, they make good stuff. They really do. Anyway, we're here for the blush mainly, but these blushes and this one in particular, I feel like goes with that um, Charlotte Tilbury blush very well. I'm just gonna be disgusting and I'm just gonna use my bronzer brush. I genuinely can't be bothered going there. She's gross and lazy. I'm just gonna add an extra glow. I know we're already very glowy, but we're here to talk about good shit. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I really don't need highlight, but we're gonna do it anyway. So yeah, for me, formula-wise and the variation, it's very rare that, that I find a palette that I'll use everything in. I don't own that many like face palettes anymore. This is, I'll always have this. I'll always keep it. I don't care what's the shelf life of this. 12 months? Am I fuck gonna throw this away? No, I'll have that for six years and I'll still use it. I am going to spritz my face before we do highlight. Um, this is not worth your money, but I'm gonna use it anyway. It's not worth, <laughs> it's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is not worth it, but it's the only like high end <laughs> The spray that I own and I've just never used it. Also, what's the shelf life? Six months shelf life. I've had this for about three years Also, the mist is terrible like For this being like a million pound that is not The mist that you want I Sprayed about 50 pound on onto my face right there. My skin looks good. Okay, moving on to lips We've got three, no wait, let me do highlight because I genuinely will forget. Melt. This is the Stargazer highlight, that's the shade name. Melt Cosmetics, they are so pricey. They have these powdered bronze, they get me with I think the packaging and just how their products look. Like they have just their powdered bronzers. That's it, that's all they are, just powdered bronzers. They're like 30... They're either 34 or like 38 pound. Ridiculous, right? For a powder bronzer. This size as well. But I genuinely, like, every time I go on Beauty Bay, I'm like, mm, do I get it? Do I get it? Look at that. I'm not one for highlight, but that looks good. All right, moving on to lips. Final part. One of my favorite lip liners ever. This is the Alomar Cosmetics lip liner in Dulce. I, this, this is also a brand, again, similar to Artist Couture. These are a Miami-based brand, small business. Again, the shipping to the UK wasn't that bad either with this. Uh, I got like two face palettes, like a blush palette and a bronzer palette, and nothing came broken, everything arrived great, and they're pretty quick, to be honest, coming from Miami too. Uh, yeah, I love it. And this is my favorite lip liner. This is one of my favorite lip liners ever. Say for them being a fairly small business, I was very surprised that they actually shipped to the UK. Like, there are bigger companies that don't. Okay. And then the high-end lipstick that I think is definitely worth the money. Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I think I've tried another one. I've tried a couple. I used to have another shade. I can't remember what it was called. Or I might have left it, like, at my old house. I can't remember. I don't know where it went. But this is actually my favourite shade. This is Knock on Wood. I love the packaging as well. These are matte. They're so long-lasting. Smells really good as well. But yeah, this is like a perfect nude. Also, quickly wanted to mention Alomar Cosmetics. I don't think they're extremely high end, like highly priced. Like they're similar to like Rare Beauty, I think, in price ranges. But again, I wouldn't like class them. I wouldn't like class them as like drugstore or anything like that. Really, can we? Can we just? Can we just? Can we just? 
I kind of want to leave it like that, but then I also want to do a gloss as well. What are you going to do all? We're doing a full face today, clearly. So I'm going to use the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is so good. The smell is unreal. These are so, so, so comfortable. This on its own as well is just so nice. Okay guys, that is it. That is my full face of high-end makeup that I think is definitely worth the money, in my opinion. So let me know what your favorite products are that are high-end. I would definitely, I'd love to try them. I feel like you guys always recommend like good things. Like you've not stayed me wrong so far. None of you have ever stayed me wrong. So yeah, let me know any products that you definitely think are worth investing in. And any other new products you want me to try, any other videos, as I always, 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 always say. That is it for today's video. I'll give you another little close-up of the face. Honestly, look how smooth that is. If I must say so myself. Obsessed. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching and spending time with me today. And I'll see you in my next video.